Children who have been taught to explain and make connections between new and prior knowledge have also been shown to engage in higher level discussions, construct more complex knowledge and provide more conceptual explanation than their peers who have not been taught these skills. Making time for and supporting learners to reflect is important because this helps students to connect what they have learned to previous experiences and to determine how their learning and problem-solving strategies might be reapplied. One reflective tool that has been used with great success is the yarning circle. The yarning circle is a speaking and listening practice that draws on the oral language tradition of Aboriginal Australian communities. It is sometimes called Dadiri, an internal and deep listening to the land. The yarning circle approach has often been used for literacy activities. For example, generating ideas when introducing new content or study areas for factual writing, discussing ideas in a text, reflecting on learning experiences. Role play is another effective reflection tool because it is a concrete experience that provides evidence upon which learners can reflect. In role play, unstructured situations are set up that encourage learners to improvise behaviours that fit their understandings of the role assigned to them. Role play engages students actively by allowing them to practise what they have learned, developing a concrete basis for discussion, increasing awareness of their own and others' feelings, promoting group work and generating enthusiasm and interest. Watch the following clip. Creative Arts Charter School Approach to Project-Based Teaching and then use the 4 R's tool to analyse what you see. Report what happened. Why is this significant? What questions does this raise for you? Relate this to your own experience and professional knowledge.